If you want to jump straight to the answers, feel free to use the timestamps. However, if you are just starting with Python and you want to get proper information, keep watching. Our first question to answer is how to install Python. You only need to go to the Python official website and click on download. Here you have two options, either installing the latest version or previous one. To find the previous versions, you just need to find your operational system, click on it and the button is going to be there for you. Here I'm going to be showing you how to install the latest version, but the procedure is the same. You click on it, save, wait for the download and execute it. So you're going to be presented with that window and please do not forget to check that check button. Oh, sorry, that checkbox. And that basically says add Python 3.8 to path. It will allow you to run Python from the terminal and then you just type Python and it will point to that Python version. Don't forget to check that checkbox. Now you're ready. You can just click here, install now. I don't like to use that long path. What I do, I normally go to customize, next, and then I normally delete almost everything and just let the version here, Python 3.8. In that case, I'll just hit on install. I will not install it because I already have Python installed, but the procedure is exactly what I just showed. Okay, please check if you already have Python before you install it. How can you do that? You can use the terminal. Why I'm saying that? Because I'm not sure which operational system you are using. If you're using Mac or Linux, chances are that you already have it. How to check it? That's the way I do on Windows. So I just press CMD here to get my terminal. Let me just make it a bit bigger. You just need to type Python minus uppercase V. So if you get as a return Python and then the version, it means we have a Python install installed. If you get uh, what is the comment is I think it says uh, comment not found and then you need to go and install in the way I just showed. Okay, what else? If you have Python 2 as a response here, I would highly recommend you to upgrade it, upgrade it to Python.3 or Python 3. Why? Because Python 2 is no longer in development and worse than that, it's not even supported. If I were you, again, I would just upgrade it to Python 3. All right, I will just keep my terminal here, my Windows Explorer on top. Let's show you two ways to do the same thing. So I clean it. All right, so we have Python again. So after all of that, you just type again, Python minus V, check if you have it installed. If you get something like that, perfect, you're good to go. Now, when you have Python, you're gonna be running Python scripts or Python program or Python file. And what is the difference? There is no difference. Python script, Python file, Python program, there are basically different wordings for a txt file. So I create my txt file where the extension is .py. Here I can name whatever. So I say first prog, hit enter. And then it's gonna ask me if I want to change the format from txt to .py. I say yes. And now that's a Python file. Okay. Now, how can I do the same thing from the terminal? You can create Python files from the term, actually whatever txt file from the command or from the terminal using the echo command. You say echo, what you want to type on the file. So I say, hey you, and then I create my file. So I use that large, larger than symbol and the name of the file. So I said for sprog. So here we say from terminal.py. So please don't forget to use the .py. When I hit enter, you get the .py file, yeah? And now we can open it and start coding. Talking about open it, I just want to tell you that you're gonna be overwhelmed by the possibility you can use for coding in Python. So you can code in text editors and IDEs and there are plenty of options. I can only recommend you to use very low or actually light text editors such as Sublime or Atom and even the, the Python idle. So if you go right click on the Python file, you can open it with something called idle. That's also a very good option to start with. So I will be using Atom. Atom is a very cool text editor. And if I want to open that file with Atom, I can first right click on it, open with Atom. That's one option. The second option is 
the second option is to open it from the terminal. I can just type atom and the name of the file. So from terminal. So when I do that again, I have my second file here open. Do you remember I, I wrote hey you and there we are. All right, now how can I run that code? So first, if I run that code, I'm gonna have some issues here because Python does not know what hey you means. What I can do, I can comment it, save it. So now let's just run that code. There is basically nothing there, but let's run it. To run a Python code, you just type Python and then the name of the file. So in that case it's from, I start typing and then I can press tab and then I'm gonna have the auto completion. I press enter. You see, we just ran the Python code, but there is so nothing, <laughs> there is nothing there. So it's quite a boring code. So what I can do, we can print something or display something in the terminal. So let's then say, hey, you, I am learning Python. So Python. So I save it. Now I can just say Python, the name of the file again. When I run it, look, we get, hey, you, I am learning Python. Actually, it's I'm learning Python. Very nice. I'm learning Python. So I clean it, CLS, run it again, Python from terminal.py. There you are. As I promised, now you already have Python and you know how to run Python script from the terminal. So from this point on, my setup is going to look like that. On the right side is my terminal and on my left side is the place I'm going to start coding, which is my Atom text editor.